Next is a very talented lady who you know from The Good Place, Killing Eve, and Barry. Now she is getting stellar reviews for her portrayal of Death in the Sandman. You are utterly the stupidest, most self-centered, pathetic excuse for an anthropomorphic personification on this or any other plane. Feeling sorry for yourself because your little game is over and you haven't got the balls to go out and find a new one. You're as bad as desire. No, worse. Did it never occur to you that I would be worried about you? Well, I didn't think. Exactly. You, you didn't think. Heads up! <laughs> the Sandman is on Netflix now. Please welcome my friend, Kirby Hal Baptiste! <laughs> What just, did you lose? I just lost my ring. Uh -oh. I walked out and I lost we my We got to find that ring, because you have to return it. You got it? Yeah, oh, I got my ring, see? Okay. Put it on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, let me see them. We were like two little bottoms just em. trying to find my gold ring. Okay, let me, go. ooh. Which Sorry. one was lost? Worth well, it. Well, this one, can I it's tell you something? It's very cute. Tell me. Um, this was from gold that I found and made into a new ring. So it was almost like it was trying to go back from when Yeah, it, it was like, I got to get to my right. owner. Like, yeah. Wait, you, Kirby, you this outfit. Me. Oh, thanks. You look good. Thanks, you look good. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for being my final guest this week. Oh I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> so happy I've for had you. I've so much fun watching you. Oh my God, you, you Kirby! Are amazing. You are Kirby. amazing. You are amazing. You love it. She's amazing. Okay, you're amazing, but I hear you've been having car trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah, I shouldn't drive. Um, is the point. <laughs> I've been having car trouble, but I will. Can I just say that this car trouble was not fully my own fault. This is my boyfriend's fault. Mm, yes, um, blame men. Yes, blame men always. Um, my boyfriend and I went to Arizona recently, and then on the drive back, he'd been to this place before from Yuma. He was like, "There's amazing sand dunes, babe, and you're gonna love it." Like. You know, I like to think I'm outdoorsy. Sure. Um, I'm not outdoorsy. I just no. like to think I am. No. <laughs> um, so anyway, so he was like, let's go see these sand dunes. So we drive and uh, we are, we go off, the, go off a little bit of road, mm -hmm. go straight into sand. And so I'm like, babe, we can't go any further. And he, he hits me with the, relax, babe, your mm -hmm. car's got four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, whatever that's called. Who knows? I don't know. You see, I don't Wait, is know. it a Jeep or something? It's a Tesla. That's not off-roading. It's not an off-road It's not an off-road vehicle. No, uh-uh. It's not an off-road vehicle. That's I'm saving on gas and smooth riding. <laughs> yes. That's not off-roading. Yeah. It's not, you know, because we had to have a tow truck pull us out um, oh. of well, the sand yeah. dune. That's my car. That's... That's my car in sand, and these things that are behind it are just desert scraps <laughs> that we found. Desert scraps? Scra and I literally like what just, are desert just, scraps? Like, things that have things that have blown out of other people's cars or blown off their tires. We tried just to wedge dusty them. Just hopes and wishes. <laughs> just stick them under the tire. We tried to wedge them under the tire <laughs> to get traction to go back. But more than anything, okay, I got to say that this is also like a chance to say I have to like put a message out there. Okay. A very kind lady named yes. Dawn. Okay. saw us there mm -hmm. and drove... She stopped at the road, obviously, because she didn't want to get stuck in soft sand. Mm -hmm. And she walked out and um, she was, like, knocked on our window and said, are you OK? We said, yeah, we've called the tow truck, we have water, we're, like, we're, we're OK, it's just we feel dumb. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and she said, um, uh, this is Dawn, this is in Yuma. So Dawn from Yuma, or the surrounding areas, mm -hmm. um, we made it out. So she gave me her number and she said, Call me when you get out. That's sweet. Really, really sweet. She said, call me when you get out. If you don't, if you haven't called me in, in the next hour or two, I'm going to send someone here. Anyway, we get towed out maybe, like, less than an hour later, and we're driving, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to call Dawn. I go to call Dawn, and I've put in the wrong number. I don't... I, it will oh, not no. connect. I know. Or did she give you the wrong number? Because she was like... <laughs> <laughs> Material for Kimmel. <laughs> I know she's an actress. <laughs> uh, Dawn's diabolical. No, Dawn's right. Listen, if you know, so uh, 
It was like 43 Celsius, which I think is like maybe like 100 Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. You want me to do math right now? I didn't go to college. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I think it was, I think it's like somewhere between, it's like the, the like, you know, hundreds, between yes. 102 and 110, sure. I guess. And Dawn got out of her car. She walked over to our car, threw the sand, knocked on the window. So I do think it's the right number. Okay. And I'm so sorry, Dawn. I really did try to call you, but I took down the wrong number, probably in my... I don't know, panic, mm -hmm. but we made it, Dawn. I made it! She made it, Dawn! She made it! I hope Dawn contacts you. <laughs> Wait, Kirby, you authored books. Yes, She's I did. doing everything! <laughs> I love that! I love that so much. Explain these books to me. Okay, so they are, you know, they're like sibling books. There's mm -hmm. Little Black Girl, Oh, The Things You Can Do, and there's Little Black Boy, Oh, The Things You Will Do. And it's a small oh. distinction, but it's sort of like, you know, language yes. is important and, and, you know, it's very, very meaningful. And so for me, I feel like young black girls, we struggle with, uh, or we, we've sort of told what we can and can't do. Like, we struggle with those limitations. Mm -hmm. And I think for young black boys, they struggle, the, there's this idea that people put on young black boys that they'll even ever do anything, uh -huh. like that they will become anything. And so that was sort of the, the distinction in the title. But I wrote Little Black Girl by myself. And uh, when I wrote that and spoke to my um, book editor, Stacey Varney at Penguin Random House, um, she was like, do you, we love this book. Do you feel like there's a world where there could be another? Mm -hmm. And I was like, actually, yeah. But also, you know, she was like, do you feel like there's a world where you can be another? And I've learned this. You have to just say yes. Because yes. at the time I was like, I can't write another book. Well, you can, because there's you... going to be another check. <laughs> yeah. But then you're like, yeah, of course. I can... <laughs> Yeah. But then she told me about the check. <laughs> um, you were like helping children <laughs> and cashing checks. I love it. <laughs> so I wrote the, the companion book with my boyfriend. Oh um, boy, was that Mary fun Seals. collaborating? It was. Okay. <laughs> no, it was okay. fun. Okay. It was fun. I think it's like it's really difficult to collaborate with anyone, and you know, like writing partners or anything like that. But I think the one when you're collaborating with your actual partner, mm -hmm. it's both fantastic because you can be brutally honest, but it's also awful because you are brutally honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's like at night, it's like before bed, it's like, hey, that note you gave me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no escaping. <laughs> Wait, so Kirby, we have to talk about the Sandman. OK. You are getting incredible <laughs> reviews. You people here have seen you on it. What a dream! I'm so happy for you. Like, oh, I'm thanks. so elated for all of your success. But can you just, like, tell me what The Sandman's about? Yes. OK, so The Sandman is an epic fantasy adventure. Where you play uh, Death. Where I play a character called Death. It um, sort of focuses on a family called The Endless, where mm -hmm. sort of concepts, you know, that take human form. Um, and this season of The Sandman follows uh, Dream, my brother, Morpheus, who has been captured by an occultist, and then it's the sort of journey for him to regain his powers and regain his tools, and you meet a, lo a lot of the family along the way. But each episode is like a standalone, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So they can just skip to your episode. So you can just number it's six. It's episode there six. You, you don't have to watch anything else. Just watch my friend Kirby. <laughs> and that's okay. Because, well, I will say Neil Gaiman kind of did say something like that. He was like, you know, if you don't like one of the episodes, just try another. Oh, that's a great way to get people to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you didn't like that one, dip in <laughs> another one. Figure out it until you like Still it. Still give us the ratings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you watch more than 15 minutes, counts as a view. <laughs> what a treat. Are you familiar with the comics at all? Because it's based on comics, right? Yeah, it's based on comics. So were you yeah, a nerd? Fans. I'm kidding. Did uh, you read the comics? I did read the comics. I read the comics um, years and years ago, and I loved Death, because I always thought... I'd never seen that portrayal of Death before. I'd never seen, like, a warm and welcoming mm -hmm. Death. Um, so that really, really struck me. And then, weirdly, I got to play this role years later. I mean, that wouldn't even have been in my imagination at the time when I read it. So. I love that. I think about Death a lot, too. We talked about this on my podcast. We did. I, I think my... we manifested this role Maybe for me. Maybe we did. Yeah, we talk a lot. Yeah, because I told that. you at my funeral, I want all my friends to wear all the stupid <laughs> in my closet. Yes. At my funeral, so it's just like just a, a cacophony of dumb. Yes. You know. Yeah. And I am so attached to my jewelry and mm -hmm. things, as you saw, I ran around the, you know, <laughs> um, that I want to be buried with it all, like an Egyptian. Yes. Just bury me with yes. all my stuff. Leave nothing for these peasants. <laughs> nothing. Thing. Thank you, Kirby. I'm so excited I got to talk to you. The Sandman is on Netflix now. We'll be right back with music from 17. <laughs>